Let's continue simplifying radical expressions and this time emphasize using the distributive property. Remember that the distributive property is really the distributive property of multiplication over addition or subtraction. So it will usually look like a coefficient, that 2, times a set of parentheses. Uh, you don't normally see the multiplication symbol, but it's implied right here. And so we're going to take that 2 and distribute it to every term inside the parentheses, which means that x needs to get multiplied by 2, and the minus 5 has to get multiplied by 2 as well. Well, x times 2 is 2x, and negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, so uh, that simplifies to 2x minus 10. And that's how we're going to use the distributive property even when we start using it in conjunction with radicals. So if we have an expression like the square root of 3 times the quantity 7 minus square root of 2, we still have the same setup where there's a coefficient, the square root of 3, being multiplied by this set of parentheses. So it's the square root of 3 that's going to get distributed to every term inside of the parentheses. That means that the 7 has to get multiplied by the square root of 3, and the minus square root of 2 has to also get multiplied by square root of 3. When we simplify 7 times the square root of 3, we just write it as 7 square root of 3. But when we're multiplying two square roots together, we can put it under one square root and multiply the 2 and the 3 to get 6. So here is our simplified expression. Here's one that looks a lot scarier, a lot more intimidating. Uh, but if we have 3 square root 5 times the quantity 2 square root 7 plus 5 square root 3, what we're going to do is take the coefficient that's out in front. And in this case, it's that entire product, 3 square root 5. And we're going to multiply that by every term that's inside the parentheses where each term is 2 square root 7 and, and the 5 square root 3. So as we write this out, that means we're going to take 2 square root 7 and multiply it by 3 root 5. And we'll take the 5 root 3, multiply that by 3 root 5. When we're multiplying uh, radicals together, uh, when we have numbers that are outside of the radicals and numbers that are inside of the radicals, that's how we'll multiply them together. So in the first product, we have the two numbers that are outside of the radicals, the 2 and the 3. So those two are going to get multiplied together. And underneath the square root, the two numbers that are underneath the square roots, the 7 and the 5. Those two are going to get multiplied together. When we move on to the second product, the two numbers that are outside of the square root are the 5 and the 3. So we'll take 5 times 3. And underneath the square roots, 3 and 5 get multiplied together. Now we just finish it off. 2 times 3 is 6. And 7 times 5 is 35. And in the next term, we have 5 times 3 is 15. And under the square root, 3 times 5 is 15. So this is our simplified expression. Let's try one more. The idea is still the same. We have this 4 square root of 3 that's going to get distributed inside of the parentheses to each term. That means that 3 square root of 5 is going to get multiplied by 4 square root of 3. And minus 2 root 3 will also get multiplied by 4 square root of 3. Within each product, we're going to multiply together. The two numbers are outside of the square root. So 3 times 4. And underneath the square root, we'll take those radicands, 5 and 3, and multiply them together. Next term, take the two numbers that are outside, the minus 2 and 4. Multiply them two together. And underneath the square root, 3 times 3. When we simplify, we're left with 12 square root of 15 minus 8 square root of 9. Now, this problem has another one that we should look at, and this should jump out to you, that square root of 9. We know that square root of 9 is a really nice number. Square root of 9 is 3. Since it's 
the negative 8 times square root of 9, we could multiply that negative 8 times 3. We left with 12 square root 15 minus 24. Then our expression is completely simplified.